All right, we are going to try this. Now, I'm having a bit of trouble with the extension for this. There's an extension I'm dicking around with QED. It hasn't started working yet. I'm thinking it's uh, based on the integration of the account. Not quite catching up yet. What happens when you click it and mess with the QED? Easy brain grub. Are we? Are these just D&D? Pretty close to D&D 5e? Okay. Well, I assume that means we have to go build a... Uh, what is the current iteration of brokenness? Um, God, it's been a couple years since D&D now. This is what? Expo Mastery with uh, the reroll perk. Game is awesome. We'll see. Hmm. I mean, Warlocks are just a really fun class. I don't mind Paladin. Paladin's an amazing class in 5e. I mean, stealth is super fun. As is all the talking classes. No bard, I see. So we have Cleric, Rogue, Fighter, Warlock, Ranger, Wizard. All right, chat. I'm, I'm excited by this. I'm so excited by this. All right, let's check this out together. All right, let's do a Fiend Warlock. Uh, I only get two skills of proficiency here. Arcana is interesting. Intimidation is whatever. I'm locked into religion. Religion is default. Seriously? Deception is sleight of hand. Certainly interesting. Deception is stealth. Very interesting. Acrobatics. Oh my god. Chat, I love character creation. It's my favorite part of every RPG. Here we are. Dude, do we maybe do... Do we do a rogue? How much sneaking do we want to... I just want to... I want to be a warlock, dude. Warlocks are so fun thematically. What do we have? High elf. Wood elf. That's it? Oh, because I'm on elf. These are subclass. Oh my god, okay. There's, uh, sorry, there's... Wait, how many more? Wait, are there six? Okay, there's eight races with two sub-races. Sure, sure. Half elf. Most OP background in the base game. Do we play this? Getting two charisma already, and the secondary part is customizable. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Chat. Chat. This is, this is a very fun... A very fun starting screen. Yeah. We're going to play some game today, maybe? Guys, I've played a lot of D&D in my life. I, my favorite part is character creation and then uh, humorous RP. All right, but I, I don't want to get too addicted to the character creation until we... I mean, like, these games almost always are something you restart. Every streamer you watch has been playing Warlock? Fuck. I don't want to hear that. I mean, it's one of the most fun skill, one of the most fun classes in D&D. And in part because I like being a face of the party. I like talking. And I like the manipulation of dialogue. Anyways, um, I mean, I could do something else. All right. So I wanted to play a warlock, but it sounds like everyone in the fucking world wants to play a warlock, which makes sense to me, starting in. Um, the other classes I really enjoyed building um, was a... I like paladins, but I don't see them in here. And I like um, fighters. Fighters are so versatile what they can do. But fighters tend to be a combat oriented class. And I have a suspicion that part of what I'm going to want to be able to do is be able to move through the social interactions. They wouldn't let me do a warlock, Seanal. They told me every other streamer is doing a warlock. So, and there's no paladins in here. Not even in the game yet. I want to be a wizard, Moonface Killer. I want to be a wizard. Every streamer's running lock. Telling me I'm late to the party so I don't get to play what I want to play? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Alright, appearance, class, skills. Alright, we're close, chat. We're close. I'm close, anyways. Do uh, starting, that is. Uh, option, history, acrobatics, wisdom, strength, insight, intimidation, perception, survival. Seriously? I, everything else is wisdom based? I know, I know it's really fucking tough to get some goddamn 
dex or um that th these skills are not super supportive of a dex in build are they all right don't have to be high elf then if we're not running dex into the secondary what else do we want to run wisdom secondary i like free stealth proficiency is quite nice extra movement seems good on a fighter lose a cantrip which is a little bit annoying so it's high elf or wood elf for elves but i don't have to be elves if i'm not running the high elf background what else can we do? Oh, Chad, there's so many options. Excellent. All right. I don't know what the spell list is for EK in this game. So it's probably not going to matter. But I hear you. With one skill, it is a little bit painful. I mean, if we have this many stats, too, we could do something else. Grab Wood Elf. It gives us plus one. So if we... <laughs> I really do like the lucky feature, though. Seems fucking great. But I mean, I don't. I don't need to play the game. I, this is mostly what I do with RPGs. I just do this. All right, we happy? Yeah. How do I set difficulty? Do I have to do difficulty before this? She's ugly. You're an idiot. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? Oh, we have to set who we're attracted to. I don't get to do this privately. And is this me or the character? <laughs> Hey, Sully. For the person who got me into uh, playing uh, pen and paper RPGs, it's good you're here for this. Yeah. Design our waifu. No thanks, man. I don't I don't want to do this on stream. All right, I'm going to accept the default. That's fine. We're attracted to Lothsworn drows only. We have a very specific fetish. If they're not wearing purple and with a very high uh, cut side, we're not having any of it. Yeah. And are these markers? Like depth markers? Don't ask. All right, we'll just go for it. Sure. I met a girl once who had uh, arm tattoos. They were just a black band on her arm as a tattoo, and those were depth markers. I was like, oh. All I'm dead serious, dead serious, gentlemen. Uh oh, did you not bring the goblin trinket? Kraken's a lot scarier if you didn't bring the fucking goblin trinket. That tower in particular. Oh, it's. Uh, I see. We're recruiting. Can't hawk. They were both at max. Dude, how much would that suck? You're on a fucking dragon. Your dragon gets bitch slapped by a kraken tentacle. Easy teleport. It's a pretty badass cutscene, but I've seen it, unfortunately. Maybe teleport again? Doesn't she have an iMag at dinner? Isn't she screwed already?
All right, so we saw she got one of these in the eye, right? All right, chat. Now, we could create a few more characters for practice first, just in case our main character dies and we need to re-roll. DM's gonna fit us back in, probably. All right, let's check out Baldur's Gate 3. All right, so we have our dude. Well, girl. Mind Flayer Pod. All right, so we are in the crashed ship right now. Oh, you social distance in the pods, it's fine. Oh, that's nice. They have, like, emergency lighting in their uh, Mind Flayer assault vehicle. I mean, in case of emergency, follow the lights to the appropriate exit. Uh, we were in an exit row. We consented to that. I mean, we didn't originally consent, but the Mind Worm eyeball thing helped us consent to sitting in an exit row. I think we're good. We leave. Is that a highlight? I take damage from just walking around, too? Yeah, I'm taking a shit ton of damage. Let's hope it doesn't kill me. That's a highlight? That's a chest. I would have never seen this chest. It looks exactly like the background. All right. We're not very strong, so I can't imagine jumping is going to be very powerful for us, but... All right. Void bulb, caustic bulb, potion of healing. Dead. Good. Maybe not good. It could have been a friend. He was the guy who had all the worms. How are we going to make more friends? We're at eight charisma. An elevator. That's an elevator? Oh, I should have known. Of course I would have assumed that's an elevator. But no one ever. Release us. Come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Sound afraid. The enemy. So many enemies. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? What is this? What is this red icon here, chat? Twitch integration. Ah, uh, chat vote. I can put it up to chat vote. I see. A newborn. What new from this husk? You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flares who abducted you. I think that's a little quiet. Yeah, we passed an arcana roll. I don't know how we did that. We have super low in, and I'm pretty sure we don't have arcana proficiency. Okay. I think we'd be pretty pissed at being abducted, huh? Are we smart enough to pick its brains? Literally. You guys want to try a Twitch integration and see? Let's see what this does. I haven't done this yet. All right, I'm ready. Pop up on the screen. Okay, cool. All right, chat. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. All right. Let's take a quick look at the brain. I get roll 11. Roll. Easy two. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. All right, I think we're taking the brain out. I would kill this because fuck this guy. He just abducted us. Was it narrator volume? That's what I was the wrong one. Okay. I get seven. Easy two. Okay, game's going to get hard if we keep failing these. Gets a friggin' finger in there? I mean, all right. The brain won't budge. All right, rip brain. Do we leave it or kill it? I think we keep, I mean, 
Seems weird that we're like, yeah, we're trying to help. Oh, I can't help. I'll just kill it. Seems kind of weird. Kill? We kill. Easy Thursday morning. All right, so we talked with that little mind flare baby and then we killed it. I'm not going to break all these things because I don't know why I would need to. We're pissed because we've been abducted. Even though we are willing to maybe learn a little bit more about the brain. Standard filthy luck. Uh, we've rolled two twos back to back. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing. A silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squaw, you are no thrall. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. Ah, uh, what the fuck is she talking about? What do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Ah, uh, we're turning into mind flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. And you mine, though it pains me to say it. Is the helm the way out of here? It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our gay captors. Okay. Sounds like a plan. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Lead the way. Wait, I lead the way? Are you my party member now? Yup. All right. The first thing we did is find someone who's exactly our class with exactly our weapon. Unfortunate. Would have been a warlock chat. I don't think I have a bow. Oh, I do. I've got a short bow right here. Fuck yeah. Pin down. Make a ranged attack to deal with the piercing damage and slow the target's movement speed. Absolutely. Commence battle. So this is the new girl. I can't remember her name. Lazel. Okay. So did we hit? Is the target pinned? Target is too far, target is pinned. There's three of them though, where? That's the one we hit. They're pretty far away. We've got an archer, so presumably we don't want to move forward too much. Where are my bonus actions? Jump, disengage. Disengage is a bonus action? Dip. Coat your weapon in a surface. I need an environmental surface. Shove. And hide. Okay. Well, oh, she's got a bow as well. I guess we can move forward. Can I move? Uh, where's my distance meter for how far I can move per round? 11 meters, it looks like. Yeah. What's my bow range? 18 meters. But presumably, if it's D&D &D rules, I can shoot from further still. I just have penalties. Can I wait? I can end, but I can't wait. That I see. Okay. So, presumably, that's my action. And my other girl can move as well, or shoot as well. Apparently. 
A short rest. Okay, this is, I didn't realize this is an ability action that I only have a limited number of, but sure. 90% even though it's out of range. So what am I losing from doing this? Go a little bit closer. Try shooting normally. Guess we're done. I mean, we could both move back up, I guess, now. Makes some sense. Let her tank. Yeah. Oh, she's got a fucking bow, too, apparently. Imps have bows. It's annoying. Alright. A little closer. Could be looking at bonus actions, see if there's anything that helps me here. Jump, disengage, dip. Coat your weapon to surface. I could get fire if I go closer. Presumably they're imps and they're fairly resistant to fire though, if I had to guess. But I don't know that. Is that a crit? Why did I do more damage there? Don't know. These things didn't move at all. I don't know what the status effect pinned down did. I, I thought it said it was a movement reduction. But it didn't say it actually pinned them down, but neither of them have moved. Oh. Can you bolt, sir? The 32 months. Yeah. An immobilize? It certainly does not say it's an immobilize. It literally says on there it reduces the target's movement speed by three. Okay. We both fired this round. How do I tell if I've taken an action or not? I had a surprise round. How come that guy didn't? That guy wasn't impacted by a surprise round. Are they grayed out? Maybe. I guess we'll end turn here and see what it looks like next round. Okay, he's still showing a pin down status effect. So I actually think chat was wrong. I don't think it's an immobilize. I think that was just a slow. Okay, this is not grayed out anymore. All right, easy imp fight. Healing. Important to heal after a fight. Certain potions, spells, and food can heal you, and restoration stations can heal you. Okay. Is there a restoration station here? That's. Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. There's magic at work here. Do I have Arcana? I don't remember getting Arcana. Z? Warding runes. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. Look for a latch. Try to disrupt the bright lines of magic with a touch. Okay. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Odd stuck fast, I can't free you. Wait! There can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. I don't really want to leave her here. She's suffering the same fate we are. Kinda sucks. What does the color mean? Red was dead, so what are these? Uh-oh. Mini boss. Why are the imps attacking him? I assume they're on his side. Thrall, connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. We will deal with the Gaeh after we escape. Immense battle, it says. So I guess from that cutscene, the imps were bothering him? Got 91 fucking HP. Oh, right, the imps are here because we're in hell. For some reason, I was thinking they were part of the, um, the ship itself. Sweet damage.
We need to get out of here now. We're busy right now, okay? Seems to be the way to be right now as an archer. Double misses. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Spread out a little bit in case there's an AoE attack. Winning versus that demon? Up to tell. Yeah. Is there an elevation advantage there? Where did I hover? I saw it for a second. It said range attack, sure, but then I hovered somewhere and it showed me a roll. Oh, it's the, under the damage roll. Attack roll. Infarmer class 7. Attack roll 8. Plus 2 from proficiency, plus 3 from dex mod. Okay. Damage roll 1d6 plus 3 from dex mod. Sure. Damage 5 minus 3. He has piercing resistance. Annoying. Okay. All right, that was our action though. Still tanking us easy. Yeah, I can see that I'm above him, but I was looking for the actual high ground roll. I don't see it on here. Oh, it does actually say high ground when I hover, I guess, on the left. Okay. All right, are we still dealing with this shit? Probably needs help. Are we helping the Mind Flayer? That sounds like a fucking dumb idea. But, random demon in hell, not so good either. What do he want us to do? Plug in something? Any idea where that is? Would we as a thrall know where that is? Hit a button to not make the ship crash. Where? So weird, I confirm by left clicking. Yeah. He's kind of beating him. Maybe we could kill them both. They're wounded after this. But anyways, let's get close enough so we can shoot. 40 fucking percent. Am I so bad? And I, I want to hover the, the, the modifier. Four. Armor 17. Oh, attack roll 17. Armor class 18. Okay. That's piercing resistance, of course, because what hasn't? All right, I wonder if we can stand in melee with it. It is stunned right now, right? No. Nope. All right, let's move over. We'll use um our newfound companion friend. Move in range of it. What is this cutscene? I'm fighting a demon. It's clear. Hurry before they strike. Well, I mean, currently the Mind Flayer is losing to this demon. I'm pretty sure if we do not kill this demon, we are going to lose. Now, the problem is, are we supposed to be activating something to get out of here? Also resistant to slashing? Demon or a devil? I don't really know. Okay. Leave him be. Okay. Are we sure you're going to be okay? You're now at 17 health. Ignore the devil. We must take the transponder. Yeah, but awkward. Wait, it passed me through zone of control and then doesn't say anything? Awkward. This gets me swung on. Okay, sure. Damn these imps. I need to reach the transponder.
Critical miss. I don't know what that does. Split these intruders open! A burner <laughs> is ours! Alright, we're coward. We're tanking with the our companion, sure. Alright, I wanna go there. Does beg the question why did they unplug that in the first place? <laughs> Hope we have a good, uh. I mean, we do have a good deck save, I know, because we leveled decks. Master stat, by the way. That's a strength roll, though, and that's not going to be good. Alright, don't know what just happened there. We plugged in the power cord, which became unplugged because they leave it in the middle of the room. Journal updated. We are falling. Please send aid. We failed the dex roll. What even hit us? A little bit of brain matter? Nice catch. I think... I am going to be done for today. There's probably going to be some more of this on channel, especially if it's only 20 hours and we just sunk like six into it or something like that. Should be pretty easy to uh, clear through the game, see what it has to offer, see what the leveling looks like. I mean, I've been pretty pleased with the level system so far. It's been pretty easy to assign and do, but it actually feels like you're leveling D&D characters, which is a lot of fun. Um, if it's going to be co-op kind of stuff, the combat's been fine with the turn-based stuff. A couple things that are a little bit weird. Systems with no cover always feel weird to me. Because it's like, how do you do with the, how do you deal with a ranged enemy character? You you just you just trading blows and healing. So I'm not entirely certain. We'll see what that feels like as we get going a little bit more. Um, I also like the idea of playing some classes. If I know if these are the classes I'm going to be running into, it would be nice to play something that wasn't uh, immediately duplicated by my team. Um, some of the things here, like with the EK, like it's weird because it's a D&D system, but it's not a fully it's not a full. Um, port of the D&D system, so you're not quite sure which parts you're going to get or not get when you run into any given area. So, for example, chat was like, the rogues aren't going to be that great. The rogue's been incredible so far. He's by far our best damage dealer. We'll see. Anyways, guys.